At Team Common Junior, we were blessed to have 15 Pico robots to use and work with the children in a cross-curricular approach. My task was to create a range of high-quality texts which teachers and children could use to develop their writing. Each project consisted of a various aspect within the English curriculum. So for example, children could be tasked to create a range of recounts, whether that is a diary entry based on imagining that they were the Pico robot, uh, also to think about a newspaper report explaining what the purpose of the Pico robot was and the outcomes that could be achieved from it. Children could also look at some non-fiction texts, including creating an information or explanation text, as well as an instructional guide on how to use it for future users. Today, we are going to use our information that we've gathered to create an informative report. So we need to make sure we include headings and subheadings. So on each of your Adobe uh, Sparks page, you're going to make sure that you've included a subheading. We need to make sure we include interesting and engaging facts. Remember, if I'm bored when I'm reading it, I'm just going to fall asleep. So we need to engage that reader, make them want to use this product. And then can we put an adjective in there? Many incredible, many one-of-a-kind features. Many state of the art. That's a nice state of the art being a hyphenated word as well. List. Yeah, there is a colon to list here as well. Can we just remind ourselves when we're ending that colon, it should end on a noun of what we're going to expand and introduce. We'll have a look at that today. Yes. Good. Can you find me one example? Uh, so that is the noun, our proper noun. Can you find me another one as well as a fronted adverbial? Good, well done. Unlike is another one there as well. There was also a narrative approach where children could take the Pico robot and they could create their very own short story for a younger audience.